Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Guess where I've been? No, seriously, guess where I've been? That's right, I've been to Iceland, my own favourite adult playground. So, basically, you've seen the title and you've seen the thumbnail. Basically, this week I'll be looking at one of my favourite things in the whole world loaded fries i do enjoy some why is my mouth gone pavlov's dogs pavlov's dogs <laughs> um yeah loaded fries i absolutely love and enjoy loaded fries i'm trying to think of the places in the high street you can buy loaded fries other than this millie's with their chili loaded fries comes out like an ice cream machine seriously it's like it's think mr whippy machines but with hot cheese sauce in, and they turn the tap on and they go like that over fries. It's it's truly wonderful when you see it in action. Other than that, I can't think of any other places to get loaded fries. And uh, never really go to TGI, so I don't actually know if these are a thing. Anyway, sorry, I've gone off tangent already. Well, not really, because it's loaded fries and these are loaded fries. I'll shut up now. I haven't eaten since yesterday. I'm delirious. Anyway, right, so I love loaded fries, uh, and uh, as I've just discussed, I think I can only get them in one place. Anyway, I saw these in Iceland the other day. I say the other day, these have been in my freezer for a couple of weeks. They're new, see, Shah, and basically um, I saw them and I, I love loaded fries. I love cheese, I love bacon. I like spice. Spicy loaded fries. It's an amalgamation of everything I hold dear in this world. Uh, and also, this range, this series, uh, if you will, has form. I've tried their chili beef fries. They were only one chili rating. There was a little bit of kick there. Um, and they were very, very, very nice. I've tried their cheese and bacon warrior fries, which were basically these, but without spice. I say these, I've not tried these yet. These without spice. And they were, I'm dying, they were absolutely fantastic. So the fact that we have cheese and bacon uh, uh, and spice, I don't know why I paused then, awkward, uh, on fries is an absolute winner. So basically, um, this is not my lunch. I have actually been to KFC today because it's Friday. And there's a reason I call these Fat Friday and it's actually not to do with it being videos on food. Friday is my fat day. Anyway, right, so I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to bang these, I'm all over the shop, I'm going to bang these in the oven, but first, um, yeah, good luck reading the uh, ingredients on there, eh? First, I'm going to try and read the ingredients, and I'm going to uh, check out the cooking instructions. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a question of, basically, um, bang your fries in the oven, and then microwave everything else. Otherwise known as a perfect recipe for third degree burns. I hate doing shit like this, but needs must. Right, so, cooking instruction. I'm not gonna read that, I can, I tried, look. So, they know that you can't read that, otherwise they wouldn't have made the cooking instructions, uh, you know, white, uh, or sorry, black on white, because obviously they know you need to be able to read this to cook this. So clearly here, knowing that you have to have this to be able to read it, uh, and put the ingredients like this anyway, uh, what are they hiding? What are they hiding? Anyway, right, I'll try. Basically, I can read uh, ingredients, french fries, 92%. That's the first ingredient. Followed by potatoes. Followed by modified uh, starch. And I really, really can't read any more of that because like I said, why would you put black uh, on red? Um, I was shame because I really would like to read whereabouts in there uh, the spice level is for these. Anyway, right, let's try and read the instructions. 
preparation instructions for best results cook from frozen. The following instructions are, are guidelines only. Please don't sue me. Um, basically, everything's a disclaimer these days, isn't it? Um, yeah, uh, are guidelines only. Please ensure the product is piping hot while served. Um, oven. Preheat oven to 200 degrees Celsius uh, for I care not for the Fahrenheit. Um, gas Mark 6. Again, what's the difference between Gas Mark 6 and Gas Mark 7 since clearly they are both 200 degrees Celsius? Maybe someone can answer that for me. Remove from all packaging. Uh, place sachets um, into uh, to, to one side uh, and place fries on a bacon tray near the middle of the oven for 20 minutes. So 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Microwave. Um, Bacon bits, um, category six, 800 watts, full power, um, microwave your bacon bits basically for 30 seconds. Okay, um, microwave American style spicy cheese sauce because apparently no other place in the world makes spicy cheese sauce, it's only America. It's good to know these things, isn't it? Uh, category six, 800 watts, full power, cut the corner of the bag, or the sachet I should say, place in a microwavable jug, otherwise known as a jug, um, uh, upright and heat on full power for two minutes. Um, carefully cut the uh, the top of the sachet off, stir um, stir contents and then heat for a further one minute, stir again uh, and cook for a further one minute. So two minutes, stir, two minutes, cut, stir, one minute, stir, one minute. Third degree burns, pour on fries. Right, um, to serve, I can't believe it's actually going to go the full route and tell us how to serve it because I think it's safe to say we know what we're doing at this point. Um, to serve, place um, place skin on fries on a serving tray. That's a very weird descriptive term. They've obviously got skin on, so place skin on fries, not fries with skin on. Skin on fries, surely you should say it in reverse. Place skin on fries. Uh, on a plate and then top with the American style spicy cheese sauce sprinkle with bacon bits. Take care when opening as product will be hot. Good to know these things. Good to know these things. I am though. Uh, I've already had a KFC. I had a bucket for one. Um, but just the, the mere thought of spice. Just the mere thought of. Can I put that? No. Don't look for your viewfinder, kids. Now you know. Just the mere thought of spicy fries is actually making me ravenous. So, as always, I do these in real time. I'm not really sure how interesting this is going to be or how easy it's going to be to film this, uh, you know, the cheese sauce and shit. But um, why not? Uh, let's go downstairs and see uh, what these bad boys are like. Can I rank for the, uh, the main event? Fine. Go on, then. See you in a bit. So... Uh, let's take a look at the cheese and bacon spicy fries. I'm guessing it's... Wow. There's the bacon bits. They are... They are not crunchy. That's... That feels odd. I can't remember what the last ones um, felt like. You know, in this series of videos. And there is my sachet of sauce. Good to know. Um, that's it's actually quite generous because the problem with a load of these um, sort of uh, loaded fries is they they stimp on the sauce but that's all right anyway uh, obviously I boiled that state-of-the-art defrosting techniques uh, me and these are our skin on fries I have I got a pair of scissors The answer to that question is no. Uh, insert card char. So these are our skin on fries. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just say fries with skin on, but there you go. Skin on fries. To be fair, um, they didn't stimp on the fries either, because I'm pretty sure this whole thing was no more than um, two pounds. Anyway, um, I don't know why the lights come back on, but let's bang these bad boys in the oven. So they are going to take 20 minutes, 200 degrees Celsius for I care not for the Fahrenheit at the top of the oven. That would mean um, that uh, 25 past, 
um, which is obsolete because I'm going to time it on my phone. Uh, anyway, so um, see you in 20 minutes. Right, so I'm going to leave them in there, uh, you know, even though it's 20 minutes. And I'm going to mic this for two minutes. I genuinely don't like miking these things. I mean, obviously, that's how you cook it. There's no other way. But they get so hot uh, and, like, um, you get this weird kind of greasy deposit. I don't know why I'm going into so much detail, but there you go. Right, so um, we'll give that two minutes. Uh, and then we'll nuke that for 30 seconds. That feels really... Yeah. Anyway. We live, we learn, we hope. First of all, that does actually smell fantastic. Second of all, can you hear that? That doesn't sound right, does it? Anyway. Yeah, screw it. Two minutes. This is what I mean. Oh, see? And exactly how am I supposed to stir this um, without giving myself third degree burns instructions? Right, so uh, bang you back in for another minute. Uh, I stirred it and it was still actually frozen despite the fact that it looks like, uh, you know, it's hotter than the surface of the sun. So one more minute. Meanwhile, you can come out Oof. Look at that. That's what I call proper, proper crispy fries. So, plate that. Get that. Mike. That. <laughs> and we should be good to go. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. It's very vomy, isn't it? Right. <laughs> I may have overdone the bacon. I'll tell you what though. Well, first of all, the bacon smells fantastic, but then it's because it's bacon and it all smells fantastic, but no, it smells very cheesy. Right, box art, actual product. Box art, actual product. Some artistic license may have been used here. But to be fair, you know, kind of job done, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, take this upstairs and see what this bad boy tastes like. Alrighty, let's crack into this bad boy. As you could probably see during that process, um, the microwaving part of it makes me so nervous because um, it gets so hot. It really, really does. Obviously, it's a microwave. But also, you seem to waste so much of it um, because it obviously boils over uh, out of the bag when you mic it. That's every um, sort of loaded fries I've ever done. Anyway, let's have a look at this bad boy. Uh, yeah, like I said, some artistic license may have taken place on the box art, and I probably overdid the bacon. Anyway, I'm dying. Fire extinguisher of choice is a knockoff supermarket diet lilt uh i'm back on the asda knockoff lilt because um i future proofed myself when they got this back in stock i just bought like seven packs of it i shit you not anyway let's get into this bad boy spicy cheesy bacon fries uh no way around it uh let's just go straight in for the kill the, the fries are too long you know, first world problems to get in my mouth hang on <laughs> I want a big chunk of sauce and shit. There we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I see you. I see you. Right, that one and that one. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me, I'm a filthy bastard. That's fantastic. It's really, really, really cheesy. Um. There's, I was going to say it's not that spicy, but it's, um, it's a builder. I can taste jalapeno. Obviously, I couldn't read the instructions because of the uh, black on red, but it's not super hot. I wouldn't say, you know, three chili rating is generous. 
I would say, but it's very, very nice, cheesy, processed <laughs> sauce. And then there's a, a little bit of a lash, tiny, tiny little bit of a lash, uh, and a very pleasant taste of um, jalapenos. Um, I don't know if there's jalapenos in there, but that's what I'm tasting. Mmm. Mmm. That's fantastic. That's really, really, really nice. A little bit on my chest. But again, though, three chili rating. Um, I would say that's very generous. Palate cleanse. It's not that hot. I'm just thirsty. But it's very, very, very nice. And the bacon's actually working out all right. And apparently, I eat like a five-year-old. <laughs> mm. And I would say there's definitely enough sauce, actually. I thought, you know, because I wasted some, it wasn't going to, you know, go the full uh, nine yards. But it has. Mmm. I would say, right, um, I'd put that as one chilli rating. I really, really, really would. It's essentially the same as the uh, cheese and bacon warrior fries with just a tiny, tiny little bit of heat. Um, I would prefer it to be a lot hotter because, hey, it's um, me. But it's very, very nice. But it's pretty much just the same as the cheese, uh, um, the warrior cheese and bacon fries which is not a bad thing but i would fully recommend this could have done with a little bit more heat if you're going to market it as being spicy make it spicy it's literally like someone's taking cheese sauce and just you know dragged a, a, a tiny little bit of hot sauce in it you know but uh, that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing i would have heard it to be hotter but it's very very um very nice so tgi fridays uh cheese and bacon spicy fries i recommend anyway as always i'd love to know what you think especially if you have had these or any of the um loaded fries from the tgi fridays range and uh if there are any other loaded fries out there in supermarket land that you recommend then please let me know thank you very much for watching i'll see you later